Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Hi, and welcome to Postscript. I'm Lou Ann Riley, Grow Group and Discipleship Director, and I'm here with Pastor Ken, who just brought part two of our series called Joy Full. Welcome, Pastor Ken. Thanks. Yeah, so part two today, joy through purpose. Mm -hmm. I love how you talked about how joy is not based on our circumstances. Yes. And you actually gave several examples of circumstances in your life that led to joy, mm -hmm. that you felt joy in that weren't necessarily they weren't fun, in the, fun in the middle of them. Yeah. And uh, one of the examples that you gave that we can learn from is the Apostle Paul, yeah. because he found himself in sure. many circumstances yeah. Yeah. in which you would not naturally think were joyful. Yeah. Uh, and one of those is, as you talked to when he was in the prison yeah. in Rome. And yeah. so we had an interesting question, mm -hmm. uh, just thinking through this idea of him being in Rome and him um, preaching the gospel and speaking to everyone he came in contact. And so the question was, if Paul was actually in prison, then how did he write all the scripture? The Bible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How did he? How yeah. did... Well, so what we know is that the, the imprisonment that he experienced this time was not the most terrible uh, dungeon-like prison, mm. which he would later get, but this was more of a house arrest, meaning um, he was still strapped up to the, to the guys all day long and night long, um, but he had some freedoms. Mm. Among those freedoms, uh, people could come and talk with him and he could talk with them and, um, so you kind of imagine that maybe after a little gathering had dispersed and the people left that mm -hmm. a guard who had been listening or saying, well, I got a question mm -hmm. about what you were just telling them, you know, and well, we got some time, let's talk about it. You know, and, and he also had the freedom to write, mm -hmm. which um, you have to remember, it's not like, uh, you know, the question arises, wouldn't they have burned uh, his letters. We have to remember, th th people don't understand who he was, mm -hmm. not when this was happening. Um, you know, the the naysayers were all against him and, and trying to get rid of him as he had tried to get rid of Christian Christians. But um, th otherwise people are just like, eh, whatever, you, you want to write a letter, write a letter. Uh, here's some paper, you know, and, and so it wasn't a big deal. And but thankfully, those letters were saved uh, in the churches where they'd been sent and would eventually become canonized in our scripture. It does make you wonder, though, I found myself wondering what it must have been like to be one of those guards mm -hmm. uh, chained up to him as he's writing. And you can't help yourself but sort of peering over his shoulder as he writes, for me to live is Christ mm -hmm. and to die is gain. Don't you know that the guy who was strapped up to him to that day, that day surely was like, you kind of break that one out for me a little bit to kind of help me understand this. So it's no wonder that by the end of Philippians, he talks about uh, people are saying hi here, even including even those <laughs> in the household of Caesar, which was the Praetorian guard. Uh -huh. And so clearly he was being a light and it was working. Uh, with the congregation that he'd been given, even though it didn't look like what he'd always envisioned it would look like in Rome. That's awesome. Okay, so uh, we're on week two of mm -hmm. the Joyful series. Yeah. Tell me about it's coming week three. Yeah, so we're going to turn week. next week and look at what Paul writes that's going to help us in the realm of humility. Mm -hmm. There is some real joy that comes to our lives if we could get past ourselves mm -hmm. and our pride and get to humility. There's a real liberation and a freedom and a joy that comes when we can get there. Well, I look forward to hearing that. Yeah. All right, and look forward to seeing you here back next week for Postscript. Uh, thank you and have a good day. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org postscript.